Okay, hello again guys, welcome to development log number 5, I believe this is number 5, um, 4 or 5, um, and I'm going to be going over what I've done this week. Um, there's not been much change this week, uh, I got myself a PS4 and GTA 5 so I kind of spent most of my time on that, however, um, we have got very basic AI movement now in the game which I'll quickly demonstrate to you. When I press F, this mock zombie here chases me, um, and that was achieved by adding a navigation mesh to the environment and then uh, letting her find her way out. So she can get stuck in the swamp as well. So when you have lots of these zombies chasing you, you're going to want to kite them through this water as it does slow them. Um, so yeah, let's just show that again. So she can't go down that steep bit there. She can't fall. Oh crap! I'm stuck in here. But yeah, she can't. She can't fall off the edge or anything. That's just the way that navigation uh, meshes are built in Unreal. Um, so if you, uh, for example, let's head up here and try and demonstrate this. I'm not sure if you can get up here. I'm sure she'll give it a shot. Oh yeah, you see how she can't run up the cliff, so she's not going to try. She'll find a way around, which is through that. And then if I stand on the end here and jump off when she gets close, she'll then run back instead of trying to jump off the cliff. So, yeah, that's, that's the basic navigation built in there. Um, so by by doing that, by having the zombies not jump off cliffs and not um, go down steep uh, steep edges or ledges or whatever you want to call them, by having them not do that, that creates um, the player has to think when they're playing. So if there's a lot of zombies after them, maybe climb up to the top of a tower, wait until all the zombies are at the top, jump off, and maybe that'll give you a couple of extra seconds of running. Maybe you can find some ammo crates or something. Which brings me on to my second um, second development of the week. Uh, I'll just let her touch me so that she stops chasing me. Yeah, there's no health or anything implemented into the game yet. Um, and animations are pretty basic. As you'll notice that actually the animations that I showed you last week have been removed. Um, this was because they were too buggy, so I'm looking for a new way of doing them uh, instead of doing key checks and things. So um, they'll definitely be done sometime in the near future. So here we have an example of an ammo crate. This is not the final model for an ammo crate. Uh, I'm going to ask a friend of mine to help me make an, uh, make one. As you can see, these things bob up and down, and and uh, yeah, so. What I'm going to do quickly is fire my gun as well, and you'll see in the top right that we have, I'm kind of covering two points at once here, I'll cover the ammunition first. So the blue text in the top right shows how much ammo I have in my gun currently. And as you can see there it says press R to reload, so we're going to press R, and I'll reload the gun, and we have 11 bullets again. Uh, the player starts with 110 bullets, which is 10 clips of 11. Um, Reloading discards the ones currently in your magazine, so if you fire off, let's say, fire off, well, obviously if you fire off all of them, they're gone. If I fire off one and there's ten left, and then I reload, I'm going to get rid of those ten. Um, and if you keep reloading, you will run out of ammo, because you're basically just throwing all these clips away. Um, yeah, so I'm spamming R now, and it's not reloading because I have no more ammo left. So I'm going to run over one of these things, and that'll give me an, an ammo clip. So now I can reload and have 11 in the 11 in the in the gun and zero uh, on my person. This information will be displayed on the hood. Um, that's actually what I'm working on right now. When I decided to make this video, is I'm working on getting the hood to display a crosshair when you zoom in like so, um, and not until you zoom in. So I'm working on that at the minute. Once I've figured that out, drawing the text of the current ammunition in the gun and um, on your in your inventory will be very will be simple once I've figured that out. So yeah, as you can see, I just run over this, adds an ammo clip. That text again, just a temporary placeholder. Um, it's not going to be like that. It'll actually be drawn to the hood as opposed to drawn as a component in the game. Um, so yeah, the raycast thing. Uh, you might remember from you will remember from the last video if you've been following this. The raycast thing only fired in a straight line. Uh, however, now it is attached to the camera, so I can adjust the uh, the pitch, yawn, roll of no, not roll. 
the pitch and your of where this thing is so it follows the camera the only problem being now is that it originates from the camera so if you watch this and I fire a couple down there you see it starts up there which means that if I was firing at a zombie that was directly in front of me let's run over to this one to demonstrate if I was firing at this zombie and the character in the game was looking straight at it the bullet might actually go over its head uh, because of where it originates from so let's just give it a shot so imagine if, if I'm pointing a gun at this woman and I shoot it should come from where his hand is to hit her but if I if I'm if my camera is like this and I fire I've got no ammo <laughs> great uh, yeah if my camera was pointed up and I fired let me just get some more ammo there there she goes yeah, so you'll see that goes straight over her head despite the fact that it should go straight into her from where his hand is. So I'll be originating the trace line from a lower point. Um, but it's, it's just getting it to the lower point but trying to get it to still uh, move with the camera that's a little bit tricky. Um, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, I've been thinking about the game and because it's only a college project what I'll, what I'll probably do is finish it as best I can uh, in time for the, the deadline for the grade, hand it in, get my grade, and then I'll probably uh, polish it off, make it a little bit better, and um, I can package it up for Android. Um, so I'll probably just throw it on the on the Google Play Market for something like 20 pence. Um, just something really cheap, you know, if I can make a little bit of money off this, then that'd be pretty cool. Um, it'd be good on my CV to say that, you know, I, I, I've monetized an app, I've made a bit of money off an app. So when I've finished it all, uh, make a trailer, make an intro, you know, make menus, polish the whole thing up um, and you should be able to find it on the App Store. Um, that's probably going to be within a couple of months. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Uh, week number five. I know this is Monday and I'm supposed to do them on a Sunday or something, but life. Um, yep, yeah, I'll definitely get back on track and upload another log uh, next week. So thanks again for following please do hit subscribe um, in the comments just tell me what you'd like to see in the game and I'm sure it'll be something that I could add in and that would make it better um, and yeah see you all next week